Okay, we have another tutorial to do. Ho, ho, ho. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this crop top I'm wearing right now, which, by the way, I sacrificed one of my favorite t-shirts, which is my Graveyard Girl t-shirt, to make this tutorial. So I am so, so, so sorry, Bunny, that I had to destroy your t-shirt for this. But I didn't really destroy it, I made it even cooler, so like you can thank me or whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to make the t-shirt that I was wearing in my last video, which a lot of you guys had questions on, like where did I get it, you know, what is it, did you make it yourself, yada yada yada. As you can see, it's got like, diamond kind of things cut out up here, the neck is cut out, and there's diamonds like in the centers, if that makes sense. I did not put diamonds in this shirt on the actual midriff, but I am gonna show you how to make the base form of the shirt so that you can customize it however you want. It's so, so, so easy. I know all of you can do this. It's probably one of the easiest things ever. All you need is a pair of scissors, um, a Sharpie marker, and that's it. First thing you're gonna do is you are going to figure out your length that you want. All you have to do is put on your favorite high-waisted shorts, see where the button lies, and then put your t-shirt over it and kind of feel it out, um, and then mark that with a Sharpie. After that, since I wanted it to be a scoop at the bottom, I go up from there and kind of trace it along with my fingers, you can eye this if you want, and just go to the top of the sides of my jeans, and then I made a little Sharpie mark there too. By the way, keep in mind that when you're making these Sharpie marks and you're actually gonna start cutting, you're always gonna have to cut a little bit shorter than what the Sharpie mark looks like it's gonna be. So do it a little longer if you're worried about that. If you're done with that, then while you're still wearing it, find the back where you want it to go. I wanted it to stop at the top of my jeans. So I didn't really want it to be scooped in the back. I just wanted it to be scooped in the front for some reason. I was feeling weird like that. Um, so I went and felt where my belt loop was and to the bottom of my belt loop, I just made a short uh, Sharpie mark then made a dotted line to each line portion that I was going to be cutting So I started with the front and then after I was done dotting that line then I cut it And of course you want to cut above that line so that you don't get any Sharpie marks on your shirt That's true. <laughs> And then after that, you flip it over, and from the sides, you can start from there and just work your way inward and cut. Once you're happy with that, then we can move on to doing your collar. Now, for this particular cut-off shirt, I decided to kind of, as Graveyard Girl put it, give this guy kind of a lobotomy. I decided to <laughs> kind of chop off his head a little bit, like right Right above his eyes, I decided to put a little Sharpie mark, and that's gonna be your point of reference for the two sides that are gonna go all the way up for your cutoff at the collar. Decide how wide you want your actual V to be. The wider you make, the harder it is it's gonna be to keep it on your shoulders. You're gonna plot two points at your shoulder where you want it to be, and basically this whole process is to cut out the collar. If you have a V-neck, it's much easier because you have kind of a frame of reference already where you can just cut out the V-neck and you'd be done. Um, but with this, since it is a scoop neck you kind of have to work with it then do your dotted line just like you did before and cut it down like you did before for my back I never ever ever do another V in the back just because it will fall off my shoulders so I kept it simple and I literally just chop off the back of the collar um, so that it's more uniform well, I say uniform. The whole thing's like ragged now. You get what I'm saying. You know, with the collar, you're basically done with the form of the shirt, but then you're gonna go in and do details that you want to add in. If you wanted to do like circles or something like that, you totally could, but I chose triangles like I did on my last shirt, and I'm just doing three triangles on either side of my sleeves. So all I did was take a Sharpie and draw my triangles in and then cut them out, making sure to get the other side of the cloth underneath it as well so that I can just do my triangles really really quickly and easily if you're worried about you could also do it on the sides of your shirt if you wanted to I didn't show that either but basically just put any kind of marking you want anywhere then after you're done with all of your different details you'll be completely done with the shirt oh my heavens that hard and I think this is something that goes great with high-waisted shorts but I just kind of liked this since it's a little bit longer of a cutoff since a lot of times when I buy crop tops I find that they're a little too short. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my Tumblr, my Twitter, my Pinterest, my everything. I'll put it all in the description box. Um, thank you buddy for donating this wonderful shirt to the cause of you know me cutting it open and I will see you guys next time for the next tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!